In this lesson, we will write a simple ES6 module and run the code using Webpack. Code modularity is essential for writing maintainable code. ES6 modules offer a solution for encapsulation, packaging and information hiding. Implementing the module pattern enriches your application. Let's create an ES6 module representing a financial account. You will store transactions belonging to the account in an array. Each transaction has the following attributes. Amount is an integer in cents. Don't even think about floating points. Depositing 0.1 and 0.2 won't give you 0.3 as a result. Date is a string in yyyymmdd format. We will simplify things. If you feel like experimenting with the date object or you just want to laugh a bit, read my post on JavaScript dates. We will import this ES6 module in another file, fill it with some data for demo purposes, and populate an ordered list with the three largest transactions. Create a folder for this experiment and place an index.html file in it with the contents on screen. The file myaccount.this.js doesn't exist yet. We will use Webpack to create it. In order to continue with the setup, you have to have Node.js installed on your machine. If you haven't installed Node, visit nodejs.org and follow the installation instructions there. Execute npm init inside the folder of your application. Provide the necessary details by answering the questions in the terminal. Once you are done answering or skipping these questions, a package JSON file is created in your folder. Webpack will be our default tool for bundling our packages for distribution and managing dependencies. Install Webpack as a local dependency. NPM package installations can be global or local. In case of global installations, you may have to run the command as an admin using sudo in Linux or Mac, or you may have to run your command line as an administrator in Windows. Note that it is rarely a good idea to install global packages, as you have no control over the runtime environment of other people running your code. I suggest installing every NPM dependency locally especially if you are planning to write open source code. Once someone gave me a homework assignment for an interview and that assignment contained a global package. We had to debug that application to find out which package to install. Obviously that application was not too successful. Webpack doesn't support the ES6 syntax by default. We will use a module loader called Babel Loader. You can install it using npm. We will also install multiple dev dependencies. Well, first of all, Babel Loader is the Babel module loader. Then Babel Core is the core transpiler used for transpiling JavaScript. Babel Preset ES2015 adds ES6, or in other words, ES2015 support. And Babel Preset Stage 2 is a preset for some extra features such as the structuring. Now that Webpack is available, let's create a configuration file webpack.config.js. We specify the entry point of our application and the location of the output file. Our entry point src slash main.js will be created shortly. All dependencies specified in this file will be copied to myaccount.this.js recursively. Babel Loader is also invoked, transpiling all .js files it finds. Back in the days, this feature was presented as linguistic time travel, as you were able to use ES6 even before it was available in the browser. We still have to use the linguistic time travel feature, as all browsers will never implement ES6. You can only drop transpilation once your supported browsers all implement the features you need from ES6. Alternatively, dropping transpilation may also work in a node environment where you have the power to specify the version of node you install on your machine. 
In order to process transactions, we need an account class. We will use the class syntax of ES6 to write the code. First, we import the sort by and first functions from the underscore functional programming utility belt. When creating an account with the new operator, we initialize the transactions to an empty array. For the purpose of demonstrating how to import underscore functions, we derive the top three transactions. After sorting the transactions based on descending absolute amount, we take the first three elements from the list. Depositing and withdrawing are both straightforward. We push a new transaction object to the transactions array, setting its amount and date. At the end of the file, we have to use export default to export our account. As a generic rule of thumb, always place one class or one piece of functionality in a file representing a module. Save the code in src account.js. We will also need underscore js. Grab it using npm install underscore hyphen hyphen save. Underscore is a regular dependency, hence the hyphen hyphen save flag. All other packages have been dev dependencies and they were added to the package.json using the save dev option. Development dependencies such as transpilers or automated testing frameworks are only used during development. The last missing file is src slash main.js. We will import the account class, create an account, and a couple of transactions, and finish this step by displaying the top three transactions. The inner HTML of our list is created and placed in the DOM. As we installed Webpack locally, we have to configure a script to execute it. In your package.json file, the scripts key was generated by default. Replace the test script with a webpack script. Enter npm run webpack in your terminal to run all the tasks specified in step 2. The script should run without errors. Alternatively, if you would like to continue developing this demo and you don't want to bother executing webpack after each and every change, Configure a script in your package.json that will run webpack with a watch flag. Execute the webpack watch script. If you make a change in one of your JavaScript files, the distribution file is automatically recompiled. Press Ctrl C to exit the webpack watch task whenever you finish development. Once my account this.js is created, view it in a browser window. As you can see, developing web applications in ES6 is not that hard. We created a setup using npm and webpack within minutes. I highly recommend researching webpack in depth. Visit the links on screen if you're interested in the following topics. In the first article, a slightly more compact React boilerplate is set up with a development server. If you would like to add ESLint support to your application, the second article will help you. Now that you know most of the features of ES6 and you can set up Webpack, nothing prevents you from creating web applications by putting your knowledge into practice. I hope you will enjoy the ES6 syntax more than ES5 and I wish you the best of luck using ES6.